to spoil a good relationship. How to spoil a good relationship. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I just share with you my perspective on different topics. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. The links are pinned to the top of the comment section below. You know, it's easy to spoil a good relationship, and I'm not talking about good spoil. We often think of the word spoil as treating someone very, very special. And I believe in that. And yet, sometimes we can spoil a good relationship through negativity, through insecurity, through um, even wanting to spend too much time with a relationship. Some people um, smother a relationship, as grandma used to call it, meaning smothering a relationship is that you're just spending too much time and putting too many demands upon that relationship. And so it's easy to ruin a relationship by smothering it too much or by being negative, um, being sloppy, um, not giving enough time to a relationship. You know, we can undergive or overgive. There's a there's a happy medium, a happy balance there. If we undergive to a relationship, um, that can uh, spoil that relationship in a not good way. If we overgive to the relationship, it can suffocate that relationship where a person wants to pull back. So there needs to be a balance. Every relationship is different. What may work well for one relationship may not work well for another. So we have to know that we have to tailor our responses um, to a relationship to that relationship, not what other people are doing or what we did in another relationship. Okay, because every person's different. Everybody's needs are different. So we have to discover what works right for that relationship. Um, are we giving enough time to it? Are we giving too much time to it? Or are we giving the right amount of time to it? Are we giving the right energy to it? Are we being negative at all in it? Or are we remaining positive? Are we investing in that relationship? Are they investing in us? Um, are we overgiving, undergiving? Um, you know, there's so many ways that people can spoil a relationship in a not good way. We want to spoil a relationship in a good way where that person wants to come back time and time and time again. So we want to do positive things in that relationship. But if you spoil it in a bad way, which means that you push the person away, whether it's your negative behaviors, choices, sloppiness, um, uh, whatever, um, or neediness, over neediness, clingingness, too much clingingness, too much, you know, too much time together or not enough time together. So, you know, each relationship needs to be tailored individually and because we want our relationships to be wonderful and to be the best. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.